right then chaps, what we've got here today is a heater. Single bar, one kilowatt. Unfortunately, I imagine that I, that cable perished and an electrician cut it off. You can't use that anymore. So I throw it out and get a crappy halogen heater. Oh, I've got other ideas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that with this. I thought I'd give it that vintage feel. And that's from this iron here which is rated for maximum of 1400 watts. So we're not going to be pushing it. So we'll give it a go. Right, just a quick look at the internals of the unit. We've got these little bus bars. This top one's ground. The one underneath it's live. And then down there, we've got the neutral. And again, the ground on top. And we've got these little ceramic spaces in between. So they don't short out. So basically, it's going to be imperative that you ground the thing. There's one little dent in there. And the whole unit will become live. Well, as you can see, I've fed the wires through the back here, and I've lost that tension relief. Shit. <laughs> I can't do nothing right, honestly. That is. All you do with this is you sort of just thread them through, give it a bit of the old in out, in out, huh? in out. Uh, not really rocket science. See that when I pull on that, I ain't going nowhere. Uh. I'll probably do is shortening that off a bit, but that sort of slips over it a bit like a Johnny. See? So I'll just pull that through there in theory, and we should be good to go. Right then, chaps, so I've wired it up accordingly. So what I'm going to do is I've got my, I've got my uh, continuity tester here. And I'm going to stick one on there and one on that ground terminal on that plug. Oh. There, I'm not getting very good continuity on it. Well, it's grounded. Let's try it live. Nothing. Neutral. Nothing. So that's grounded. And uh, these two, the knife and the neutral, are isolated from ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together and test it on the variant. Right, just a little top tip. See that there? There's a little near diffier magnet attached to that. So it's impossible to lose screws. Nice little tip that. You take a screw out of it or nut and just drop them on there. You can't lose them then. Foolproof. Right then chaps, uh, I've got that on the uh, power supply now, it is ballasted to, uh, I don't know, a few hundred watts, and uh, that's slowly starting to get hot, and it stinks, 
So hopefully that will burn off. Alright then chaps, that is now running directly off the mains. And it's coming up to full temperature. And I can tell you now that is a lot better than those halogen things. See look, I can blow on it and it doesn't fall over. Alright. Rock solid. See, the reason why these are better than those halogen heaters is because I can now, within reason, move it about while oh, it's still turned on. If we have a quick look at the halogen heater bulb, listen. You can hear that filament rattling around in there. That's probably why they're so short lived. And of course, I also think they've done that deliberately. If you look at a halogen light, yeah, if you look inside of this uh, halogen light, you see these little rings. So then they stop that filament from sagging and wobbling about. That's what it's there for. If we have a look at that halogen heater bulb again, it hasn't got any. usual job of making it to fail. I hope you found this video vaguely useful, I don't know. But the iron that donated this cable, I'm going to burn it out. So I'll see you guys in the next vid.